Hi guys, DudeRent here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to um, take that computer that we've been building and, well, control the RAM and stuff. So as you see, I've changed a few things. I've done that add thing I said I was going to do. I repositioned the RAM and wired them up so it's kind of like a register system. This is going to be wired to like player controller thingy. So, yeah. I think the con RAM controller things are going to be here or there or somewhere here. I don't know. Okay. So, to control these things, I'm quite low on space around here. So, I decide I was going to do something like this. So turn this on. Turn this on. Simple but effective. So I'm just gonna dig out a lot of these corridors to all these RAM cells. So there we are, they're all wired underground now. Could use a bit of light. What the heck? Um, here we are. Touch. I'll test wire length later. Right now, my concern is. Yeah, there is something important above me. Let's see what that is. Oh. Whoops. Note to self, fix some RAM thing. Darn. How much further? Also, can we get rid of all this stuff? Be gone. Close enough. There. Here's an effective method. Okay, so that's that wired. Now I need to make a decoder. If we really wanted to. Oh, I'll just make one. Um. So this is how you make a decoder, by the way. It's a quick tutorial. Probably not doing this in the right place, but close enough. I can modify it later. Nope. Done. Basically, you enter all the binary combinations with torches. Whoops, forgot one.
This needs to be connected, by the way. needs to be a quick pulse. I just remembered. It's turning nine, yeah. I can make a fix to that. this later. Quick pulse. Okay, we need a decoder up there as well, without this thing though. So I'm just gonna be lazy and copy this one. I always do this. These things are so annoying to make. Trust me, they're not interesting at all to make, just... Especially if you've got tons and tons of bits, like my RAM. Like 32 bits, if that's... It's 32... Like, torches all over the place. 32 combinations. Not fun. As usual, I forget to copy in something. Oh, and another change, I added a subtractor to the top instead of a boring AND gate. So you can do more maths with it. More interesting maths at least. Let's put the testing torches. Always make sure all the torches are off. Must all be off. If only a few are off, then it's not good. Okay, it's fine. Is it still turning darker? Now it's raining. But we're in the desert. So that doesn't affect us much. Okay, so that's RAM. Save and write. Two bits. It's gonna be four bit command, I just noticed. Cool. I haven't done a 4 bit command system before. In fact, I hardly ever do command systems. Passing. It's a boring process, but it has to be done. There's no automatic passing in Minecraft. There's barely any redstone things. Yet we're building a computer. Are you building a computer? Are you, hopefully, building a computer? Because otherwise this tutorial is pointless. There, by the way, is a pause button if you can't keep up. You, sh you can make your own custom version. It doesn't have to look precisely like this block by block. You know. That, like, pause the video and, like, how many blocks away is that thing? Unless it's a precision device. 
like the RAM and stuff, but like the position of the RAM doesn't really matter. I got it a tad wrong here, so just like, yeah, squiggly wires. Okay, so this is enough to, now it's not enough to control the computer. We still need this. Oh, and I need to test everything. This works. This does not work. This does not reach. Nor do you. Wait, where else did I put wires? Hey, that's about it. The rest has already been done. What are we gonna put here? Maybe the clock. Yeah, it's a nice little place for the clock. I'll show you how to build that later. So that and this should be enough to control the whole computer. Currently stored in the registers is three and three. Giving the answer of three for some reason. Oh, I have everything on here. Okay, so you might have just built this and maybe wondering how the heck do I control this thing that I just built. Well this over here decides which register we're loading from. Loading from the last register is completely useless. Why did I even implement that? It really is just completely useless. This here is whether to use the ALU or not. Whoops. I forgot. I need to do that. It was still in debugging mode. I was wondering why this wires were constantly on. See, so yeah, here's the dot on the bus. I can check which one of these is on to see which one. You know, I can easily debug it. This decides where we're saving to. We need a clock signal in order to save to it, which is a quick flick of this switch, which will be done automatically later. Um, wait, what else is there? The LU control, office subtract, on as add. On add, on add, not hard. You can swap it around too. I think I may have accidentally swapped it around recently. In fact, it's not even here anymore there. How did that happen? Well, it seems that I was subtracting 3 and 3, which is 0. Duh. Um, this goes, you know, I explained that. Okay, so here's your little mini red game thingy. Almost ready to build. You just need to add program memory here. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Blah, blah, blah. You remember all that stuff. And goodbye.